what I called for October 7th is even more meaningful today. We should have a, a temporary flight and passenger ban from anyone who's been through Western African nations stricken with Ebola. This is not uncommon. We are, they're doing it in Europe. Uh, the carriers themselves are refusing to go there. Nigeria has been commended because they refuse to allow anyone in until this is under control. Uh, and yet, we've got a governor saying, it's not really my job, we'll just deal with it when it comes and we're prepared. So why are we playing defense and allowing a thousand people a week, on average, coming in from those countries, right through our gates at JFK, uh, whether they have the symptoms or not right now? This is a public health crisis in the making, internationally. I mean. When the World Health Organization says 1.4 million cases with a 71% mortality rate by December 31st, we need to deal with this in a serious way. And for the governor the other day to say he's not a doctor, he's a, you know, he's a lawyer, uh, and it's not his job, and just you know, use hand sanitizers, you know, th that's, that's not the leadership we need. We need bold leadership right now from this governor and the health commissioner to not let anyone in for a temporary period of time. Who are you seeking advice from on this issue? I've talked to doctors, I've talked to just average common sense people who are saying, why would we deal with this in a city with eight and a half million people, uh, with a, you know, people are all over each other in the city because it's so crowded. You're going to have people coming here because it's just for humane reasons. If, if you think you've been contracting Ebola, then you're going to do everything humanly possible to get to America and the best hospitals. Uh, that's just what people are going to do. And we want to treat this. We want to contain it in Africa. Just like European countries are saying, like the carriers, British Airways, Air France, Emirates Airlines, they're refusing to go or, or take passengers until we get this under control. One became four. What's four going to become? Uh, we were promised it would never get here. The CDC warned New York specifically that it's going to come to New York via airplane. The World Health Organization says we have a crisis on our hands right now. For the Mayor de Blasio, for Governor Cuomo, and for President Obama to do nothing about it, uh, you know, is gross negligence at this point.